don't like the term Irish draft because it indicates haulage and drawing of something very big and prefer the, ter the term utility horse. The type we had in the old days that the farmer took his children to mass on a Sunday and to school the rest of the t time and then, then uh, did the ordinary work on the farm for cultivation and so forth and so on. And uh, perhaps once a week or once a fortnight he took him out of the plough and put a saddle on him and hunters for a bit of relaxation and even on the Sunday did some cross-country riding which they did in those days when they had no Jim Cannons. From the Irish draft you've got the stamina, the courage, the jumping ability and the, uh, the drive which these horses have which is so valuable and I think that has accounted for the success in recent years and the uh, recent Olympics of Irish horses. You remember the success in Tokyo last year. Unfortunately, we were fourth, only fourth, but it might, it is actually a lot better than it sounded because there was very little between the first four teams. But the principal thing was that the Italian team, the winning team, and the individual gold medal were all, uh, uh, all Irish horses bought and bred in Ireland. And I'm pretty certain that all those horses stemmed from Irish, bra Irish draft blood. This mare here is a uh, old Glassy. She's a purebred registered Irish draft mare. And I bought her down in um, Leash last year. And she had a foal, and she's another foal now, here behind, uh, both uh, by thoroughbreds. I, uh, I'm a great believer in Irish drafts, and I'd like to have a whole stud of them. I'd like to have about 10 of them. And I think they get a very raw deal in Irish life in general and particularly by the horse people. I think it's a great shame that there isn't a class for them in the audience. The Irish draft plays a very important part in the uh, breeding of the type of horse that is competing here today at Rainston, as it does in the breeding of all jumping and cross-country horses. The uh, show jumper, the event horse which you see here today, Practically all of them have a small drop of Irish draft blood up to a pure half-bred. This Irish draft strain in the horses uh, gives them courage, jumping ability, and probably more important than anything, temperament. These qualities of the Irish draft cross with the thoroughbred to produce the ideal cross-country horse is well recognized throughout the world. The uh, preservation of the, I the Irish draft breed in the country is most essential uh, in order to ensure the production of the typical Irish hunter, event horse, or show jumper. He is the cornerstone of that breeding. The continuance of the production of those half-breds depends on maintaining a good many high-quality Irish draft mares throughout the country. Uh, the tendency at the moment is to move rapidly towards the thoroughbred. And while the bloodstock breeders and the Irish Racing Board and the Jockey Club have uh, full control and are doing great work, uh, we think we must move away slightly from the thoroughbred to get back to the great utility horse of the past. Not that the thoroughbred didn't pay his part, because he did, of course, the old days, they were there, of course, in the charge of the Light Brigade. And they were there for the army horses, and they were there indeed in the hunting field. But that isn't what we have in mind. We want to go back once more to the general utility horse. A big problem, a difficult problem, but one that may be solved, we hope, one of these days.